But new at 10, a Huntington man is getting revenge on several package thieves with a prank. The latest was captured on video early this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Raven Brown shares how he's giving those porch pirates a rude awakening. That is Joshua Garn's way of keeping people off and far away from his property. There's only so much you can do, so why not have a little bit of fun with it? He says in the past two months, he's caught more than 20 people on camera targeting one of the homes he's fixing up. Sick of things being stolen, so he got creative. It deters them from the property because that's the first thing they see is a box. So if they grab the box, they'll, if they hear the bang, they'll, they'll hopefully leave quick. God. The only thing inside the box, a trip wire that fires off a bang as soon as you pick it up. So loud, it'll make your ears ring. They've even stolen my new trespassing signs, so I had to put metal ones up uh, and screw them down because they would rip them off. But the lighthearted prank comes from a bigger problem within Huntington. At this point, you can't leave nothing out or it comes up stolen real quick. Dennis McFeely lives down the street and says thefts in the area are at an all-time high. They'll go right on your porch, everything, and steal everything. And it's just like they, I don't know if it's due to the drug use or they're just where they're homeless or what it is, but they're just stealing, stealing anything and everything they can get their hands on. Garn's hoping to send a reminder to those that the next time they see something on someone's porch, it's also a little bit of retribution. It might be a good idea to just leave it alone. In Huntington, Raven Brown, Eyewitness News. Police Chief Hank Dial says they're placing more of an emphasis now, emphasis now on property crimes after he says they've started to see a potential increase in them. He encourages anyone to see uh, to report anything suspicious. Only a happy story for once. Outbursts of irrepressible joy erupted throughout the exclusive island community of Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts last night. For hundreds of years, Martha's Vineyard had suffered from the soul-crushing effects of its own whiteness. Island residents understood